Hey, welcome back, folks, to Occult is Anonymous. I'm going to be a little bit loopy. You're probably going to be a little bit loopy. It's just that kind of, just that kind of day. Um, yes, Chris shaved. Um, we're moving on with our with our lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Um, uh, join us on Discord, uh, yeet into dot space, and uh, tell us tell us what you think. Um, don't worry, I don't think it's permanent. <laughs> um, but uh, as always, Occultist Anonymous is sponsored by Roll Twenty, the Onyx Path, and viewers like you. Thank you very much to our friends uh, who support us monetarily. Uh, give us. Uh, a little bit of a little boost that way we can sp uh, spend money on like buying new character art uh our bell which is still here i haven't shipped it yet uh but i will be ringing it this week because i went through the past videos and i was like oh that's not too obnoxious um so i'm not too worried about it uh, it sounds really nice it's very crystal clear I'm, I'm just gonna drive my dogs nuts it'll be terrific and i wouldn't have it sitting <laughs> right next to my microphone either, right so. i would hope not yeah um <laughs> And uh, yeah, so thank you very much to uh, our supporters, which, by the way, as of this recording, we are at 193 US uh, of the 200 to, to make have the two new first, friends this week to make our, our first little milestone. And I'm going to uh, get my wife in to help uh, video edit and stuff like that. Um, and hopefully I will then be able to start doing some other little videos. Maybe I don't want to say once a week because I need a little bit more time uh, for longer videos, but or we'll do some additional stuff, talk about practices, do little previews or uh, summaries of arcs and stuff like that. And that's what your guys' stuff goes to. Um, so it, it helps us grow. And of course, uh, the Cabal gets, uh, gets a little itty bitty paycheck um, as well, just because, hey, they're here, they're playing. It's and the only one. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's right. Chris, you're welcome. Uh, if you want to support the Let Chris Eat Food Fund, uh, come support us on Patreon. Please don't. Chris is, Chris is okay. Uh, Chris has a sugar mama. That's uh, true. Yep. So, uh, but yes, thank you to uh, Adam, Al, Alan, Michael, Alexander, Badur, Bernie, Brandon, Danny, Doc, Emil, Giovanni, James, John, Josh, Julian, Cat Feathers, Lance, Melissa, Michael, Moku, Noba, Noctal, Other Michael, Perry, Puppeteer, Roy Viscrat, Ryan, Schmidt, Sebastian, Sinat, Thomas, Usuf Sama, Firekeeper, and Zachary. Whew. So many. <laughs> so many. We are at 34. Uh, thank you guys very much for your support. It It, it is, it is kind of awe-inspiring um so thank you very much for that um so when we last left the cabal uh they had a, a little sit-down meeting at the dead rabbit uh where they met with shiko ono uh the now i didn't ever look it up and i still haven't posted network's character sheet i'm gonna do that during the break Anyways, uh, 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 actually, you know what? I can probably do it while I talk. But uh, mm -hmm. yes, Shiko uh, Ono, the new prince of uh, the, uh, the vampires in New York City, uh, has basically said, hey, you know what? I don't like being in debt. You guys did me a favor, so I'm going to do a favor back. I got to kill some mages. So why don't I kill a couple of mages? for you that way just a little something a little under the table and i'm you know a little little quid, quid pro quo little you know pat on the back um squid pro bro yeah yes that's perfectly on board for songbird <laughs> too um, so yes uh that is that is definitely the uh the kind of situation and of course uh songbird was like oh how about just two names uh, and Chico said, "Well, I mean, if you only want two two people dead, but there's definitely going to be more." I just thought she was just... only going to kill three, but yeah, nah. I was being hopeful. She's yeah. killing more than three. We just oh, yes. get to choose three. Yep. And so you know, let's get on guard because maybe alert the rest of the Zillium. Yep. And she did also uh, offer her personal protection to, uh, to at that time the four of you, and then he, uh, you guys were like, ah. Uh, we have Titus, and she was like, "Okay, fine." Send we have a picture. precious cinnamon roll that yes. also needs to be protected. Yes, this is, I'll protect your ghoul. Yes, <laughs> um, so very, very much. Yes, protect, protect the boy. Um, and uh, yes, so and live. We're doing this live. Network's character sheet. If I remember everything, um, it's just like Titus, sweet precious child. He's only a year younger than me. <laughs> Right. Um, and Network's character sheet is now live on Patreon. Um, hey. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and now, now I'm going, 
I, I put everything in there. <laughs> uh, it's been that kind of week, folks. Uh, I'm sure fun. people will point it out to you if you didn't. I will get comments guaranteed. Uh, You're going to get added at 3 a.m. <laughs> yep. Uh, whatever. Uh, so, um, yes, you guys had your dinner with Shiko, uh, had a little bit of a quiet little somber moment where you realized there's definitely some pages who are going to die. And it's kind of on you guys to pick a couple and then, you know, let everybody else know, uh, at least, you know, the pentacle, the concilium, uh, know, hey, guys, probably want to keep your heads down. We're going to, you know, let the Sears get it uh, where possible. So. Uh, but that's where we pick up. You guys at the dead rabbit. So, pick three. How do we? I mean, I can't just write three names down right now. So, how do we find out? I mean, don't the arrows like no seers? <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's not a bad idea. Intel and whatnot. Factory can probably um, give us some. What you, what you're trying to do there, weird? <laughs> I just doing a quick, uh, just off the cuff divination, and I got nothing. So hmm. that's unusual. <clears throat> yeah, hmm. especially with hmm. eight it's be a weird night. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can. Call up factory, see if she has a hit list, essentially. Cool. Looks you like know. that our maybe goal for tomorrow. Sure. Mm-hmm. For tonight, drinks. Yeah, we're already here. Shiko took her one drink and was off. Uh, Network is like sweet and like moves into the booth. Uh, and he's like, again, lack of eyesight. This is it's fine. Maybe somebody will, actually hang on. Somebody take a picture of me. Um, hang on and like adjust to get in like the middle of the booth and <laughs> can't you puts, puts can't his, you use me like as a mirror hmm? your master goes can't you use me as a mirror oh I could but I mean you know it's the yeah I'm, I could I'm offering know, I appreciate that uh, at this okay. point no just somebody take a selfie and like sits back with his arms across <laughs> and because you have Fem Songbird, uh, you have uh, Atratus with striking looks, and then Weird, who, while still rocking the hobo chic, is still wild, crazy hair. And, a bit know. more cleaned up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, yeah, I'm just going to post this one on Twitter. Uh, she has a day job now. Working that's true. Theater. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, Moira can turn on, you know, corporate, yeah. uh, you know, corporate badass uh, on a moment's notice. Uh, actually, quite literally, because of her mirror. Now mm-hmm. I think about it. Oh, wait. That only covers person, not clothes. So not quite, but. Uh, oh, does it only cover person? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's life. So, uh, but yeah, uh, so you guys chat, hang out, uh, have a little bit uh, to, uh, to drink and then make your ways uh, back to your various domicile home like objects. Uh, in the morning, uh, you can call factory uh, to make it easy. Um, we can actually just do some rolls. Sure. Um, which I warned them. I told them this was coming. Uh, We're going to use skills. Yep. Social dice. Yeah. Stand back. I'm going to do a skill. Yep. So was, uh, uh, I was going to give um, our, our buddy a call to on the guardian side. Okay. I'm sure there's got a few yeah. cards around. Yeah. I, well, and that's, uh, and that's, that's literally you know, what these dice can represent. Uh, <gasps> you... Layla. Oh, wow. Layla's very worked up about that. Um, so, yeah, uh, you can definitely roll, uh, like I said, politics um, or street pies um, and use your... Uh, hmm? Subterfuge. No. Okay. <laughs> Subterfuge is definitely about lying and stuff like that, but uh, in this case, you're this is more information. It's also gathering. like communicating without communicating. Sure. Uh, like, but yeah, that's yeah. not quite what you're doing at this point. You're sure. info gathering. Um, <laughs> and uh, this is also a very, very good point to point out uh, various statuses. Like uh, if any of you have concilium status, this is a social role uh, or potentially is a social role. Um, so that would apply as a bonus. Um, uh, or if you're asking within your own order, say the guardians, uh, that would also apply. 
Just let her sit in your lap. No. Layla is so not a lap dog. Layla attacks faces. Yeah. So manipulation investigation or? Uh, mm, oh, actually, you know what? I'm okay with investigation. Investigation is about putting together clues. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Um, though with uh, manipulation investigation, I think that's probably going to be like a day per roll. Uh, okay. Like, you know, looking around, asking, especially in uh, for weird, it's your neighborhood, you know, that a lot mm-hmm. of these guys are uh, hanging out at. Um, so um, now other question, uh, you're going to be taking a, we'll say a minus two penalty because you're digging into kind of secretive, you know, subtle stuff. Um, and I do apologize because I am going to try and start throwing in, uh, more penalties here and there, um, where all you need is one success. Um, I have to remember. Can I partially offset that with my, uh, like I'm planning on investigating through the guardians. Right. And this is where I can offset. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where your order status order status would apply if you have particular things that you're using. Um, so like, say for instance, um, like this is this does not apply, but hey, I'm doing academic research. Do you have a computer? Okay, that's going mm-hmm. to help you. That's a plus one. Uh, there are equipment bonuses and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so it, yeah, if you're doing manipulation uh, and investigation, and yeah, you're gonna like call on some order resources. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm basically looking for one name or detail about one seer who's particular pain in the ass to the pentacle. Sure. I think if we all come up with one. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Sounds good. See, there you go. Uh, except that I need you to re-roll that because you have Fate 4 in there. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Stupid. It's reset all the time. Sneaky Arcana. There you go. <laughs> there you, go. <laughs> you didn't yeah. have the... Oh, wait. I oh. think it's probably fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll drop the last success off. So you only get two, sure. which, like I said, you only need one. Um, and I need to, I need to remember that Chronicles of Darkness, you, you just need the one. Um, uh, so yeah, over the course of the day, um, in and among some other stuff, you make some calls to the Guardians, call the Shodel, uh, put in a ne- uh, message to the Epitot, um, and just basically go, hey, who's got... A name. Who? I, I need somebody. Doesn't and, and it sounds like you're like I'm not picky. I just need somebody that we don't like in the series that you know we're. Well, what what do you what are you telling people? I'm um. um <laughs> what am I telling people? That's a good question. So I'm looking for a name of a seer who is particularly troublesome uh, to the guardians and or the pentacle in general. You're not that, necessarily uh, saying that, hey, this person is going to be put on a hit list. That that we would be we would be much happier if they were no longer around. Okay, so subtly saying they go yes. and die. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, so yeah, they they provide you uh, a name. I do have Conco open. There it is. My handy dandy Sears of the Throne tag, which allows me to sort through this. And we can't see those, can we? No, I have that tag Secrets. separated. I love it. Uh, once I realized I could make private tags. Keep secrets uh, from us. Oh, no. Secrets. Who, what what kind of storyteller would ever keep things secret from their players? Uh, Not this one. <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, you were given... Uh, uh, oh, my gosh. There we go. Uh, yeah, you were given a... Uh, the name of Sor Fang, um, S O R E F A N G, not Sour Fang. Not Sour Fang. <laughs> Sour Fang's my boy, and we would never kill him. Um, but I Sor mean, Fang. Uh, sorry. It's a, yeah, it's a Thyrsus, um, and uh, yeah, uh, the the information that you gather between a couple different various folks is um, uh, this is uh, Sor Fang is the mad scientist type of Thyrsus. Uh, uh, it's has, making weird new critters. Uh, not well, critters on the, the uh, biological and molecular level. Um, and mm. yeah, 
not quite like the level of crazy bioweapons. <laughs> no, but, but like Franken spirits or <laughs> No, no. Uh, okay. literally, you know, l- literal, you know, changes to diseases and stuff to make them like, oh no, somebody's gotten sick and we're just gonna sprinkle it and for whatever reason it's particularly resistant to drugs and stuff like that. And yeah, he's you know, not a pleasant f- well, I mean, they're seers. None of them are pleasant, but yeah, basically this is, this is a person who experiments and has a collection of, you know, custom made diseases and viruses and bacteria and stuff like that. And I realize that this is kind of topical and I apologize. Um, no, Sorfang, that one. Yeah, so Sorfang did not come up with, you know, COVID-19 or anything like that, but um, th- they are the kind of person who would, you know, let loose a particular strain of smallpox among a troublesome, you know, uh, town and, you know, have have it devastate the population. He's that kind of person. Cool. Uh, Graves is not local. And neither is Mammon, so. Or neither is Zolius. Zolius. Okay. Um, all right, well, I will call up uh, Factory. Sure. Uh, and yeah, same kind of thing. Uh, is there particular um, skills that you would prefer? Um, uh, well, I've uh, got one dot in Streetwise with specialization in rumors. It's like, I, so. I think that applies. Um, yeah, you know, digging around, especially because Streetwise, it doesn't necessarily mean literally what's being heard on the street. Um, in the case of Atratus, and especially this being Atratus, I wouldn't be surprised if this is more of, I'm going to call up some folks in the Viserium, I'm going to call up Rescue One, hey, you know, uh, Tassos, have you guys, you know, seen you know, this particular, you know, type of fellow and, you know, tracking down, you know, somebody or other. Um, uh, but yeah, so Streetwise, plus your specialization with rumors, and then... Um, Hmm, probably, probably presence, maybe manipulation. Do you have a Do you have a preference there? I mean, I'm not trying to manipulate, really. I was gonna just straight up, honestly, tell her that vampires are looking for mages to kill and retaliation. Cool. We've uh, been told we can give them three, so that's three of us that will be fine, and three of someone else who won't be. It's true. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's roll, uh, presence plus, uh, streetwise. Uh, and like I said, yeah, you're, you may be starting with factory, but, um, but yeah, this is basically to get a name and then find them. Yep. So it would be present streetwise plus one for the specialization. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you're going to have a minus two from the fact that it's a difficult thing. And then we'll add, uh, I think probably cause you're calling on the free council. Do you have any concilium status? I have one dot concilium status. So, so that'll apply. So I think you end up with a minus one total. Minus mm-hmm. two. And then minus two plus one for specialization plus one for concilium. Oh, yeah. So it'll be three. I can math. Still only four dice. I believe. There you go. One success. Yeah. Got it. St- statistically speaking, you were going to get it. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, you were given uh, a name as well. Because I do want her to sort of spread the word that we need to be on the lookout. Be careful. For, be cautious. Oh, for the, for for the vampires. various vampires. Sure. It's like we can target them at three in particular, but. They're probably not going to want to stop at three. So, heads up. It's very, very good point. Uh, but yeah, you were given the name of uh, Rodney Voner, um, the seer who is a Nicanthus um, and is known for basically uh, adjusting the lives of people. And it sounds, the, the, the information that you get from uh, I think especially from Factory, is this is probably one of the worst type of seers in the fact that they have no particularly loyal to the Exarchs. They're not a prelate. 
Um, this is a douche self-serving, ba- self-serving douchebag, and it's literally just a garbage person. Garbage person who has been given the keys to the kingdom is you know an acanthus has fate and can arrange for anything to happen if they have the patience for it, and basically throws people under the bus and just happens to get stuff that just happens to land in his lap, uh, and just basically just and occasionally you know as, as a seer is asked to do you know terrible things and goes. Yeah, okay, sure. You know, and it's very much um, Badger from The Matrix. He's like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to eat this steak and I'm going to enjoy it. And I don't care if it's fake. Ignorance is bliss. Mm -hmm. And it's just more than happy to just, you know, who cares about other people? I I got mine. Okay, cool. This guy sucks. Nice. I mean, generally. So I have like his his real name, right? uh, Well, that's that's the shadow name. Uh, Mm -hmm. But yes, uh, you you have enough to start to. uh, to basically arrange and yeah, you're given, you know, the enough S- same thing with uh, what weird came up with uh, is like you have, you know, a small little, you know, a couple pieces of paper and some notes jotted down of uh, aliases and addresses and stuff like that, because surprise, surprise, a lot of these folks have, you know, mm-hmm. multiple identities and, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Uh, what's Songbird's approach to this all? Um. I think that's just going going through the arrow, but like starting with maybe hitting up Onyx. Uh, yeah, this is definitely kind of in Onyx's uh, territory. Because they kind of patrol the city and do some stuff. And, and she lays down curses on douchebags. Yeah. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so uh, she's like, oh, like, I, I, especially because it is Onyx. Uh, let, let us go ahead and roll uh, Presence plus Persuasion uh plus one um all, all told because I, I believe you've got adamantine arrow status yeah yeah okay hey four successes yeah really didn't think you were gonna have a problem with it uh and she's like oh yeah no i i, I got the i got the name for you all right you ready for this one this is the magus of wisdom yep Sounds very full of themselves. Very full of himself um, is basically, um, uh, she says, you know, if if, uh, if uh, he were a pentacle mage, he'd be a terrific guardian, um, has basically multiple cults that, you know, serve him directly. He's a best egos um, and basically manipulates people, promises them stuff and then fails to deliver. Um, some, some people, you know, he, you know, gives a handout to and then, you know, with the other hand, takes it back, you know, from them and further indebting them. And yeah, very, very nasty, you know, uh, kind of cult influence kind of stuff. Uh, and, you know, she mentions, you know, Silver Ladder will probably be happy with, you know, getting rid of him. You know, this this guy moves among, you know, the, the secret societies of the upper crust and, you know, trades favors and, you know, uh, uses people like puppets. Um, she's like, yeah, here you go. Boom. And like, it is a fat stack of, you know, aliases, addresses, homes, nice. known associates. Uh, she's like, yeah, we, you know, we haven't laid a hand on them because mass egos really hard to surprise. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, do you, do you tell her like, Oh know, yeah. Straight oh, up. Yeah. And she's like, and cool. like, I'll even like offer like if, if her cabal needs to like gets into trouble or whatever, like, to let me know. To do trouble with. What's up? What, with the I'm, vampires. Oh, and basically, you know, Songbird will step in and try and like nudge them like, hey, these guys are with me kind of thing. Not even that. I'll just, just come fight, fight the vampires yeah. with them. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, I, I thought this was related to hunting down the Magus of Wisdom. Okay. I'm with you. Um yeah. No, it's really to the whole general right. okay. thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, by, by the way, vampires are coming. Also, who do we want to kill? Um, yeah. Uh, she, she's like, all right. Um, yeah, for the most part, uh, she and a lot of the other, uh, you know, arrows are kind of um, on limited patrols. Right. Um, right. You know, and, and at this point, uh, actually, that's true. Ed, you guys pass on the message, I'm sure, to uh, 
Fredrin and various other higher ups that hey, uh, we we have gotten confirmation that they are hunting for mages. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably where I go. Like after this, is to like mm-hmm. like give a good report and everything. Anybody specific that you guys like decide to report to? Well, it's not like it's going to be a surprise, right? I was hoping that the new prince would uh, talk first and then maybe be dissuaded from that course of action. Well, and but, bear in mind, because as, as we ended the last mm-hmm. uh, session, she was like, okay, well, fine, maybe I'll give your hierarch a call. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, she also said, no matter what, there's going to be blood. Revenge has to happen first, and then yeah. you can... So, um, but yeah. Is there anybody specific you go to, or are you guys like, yeah, we just reported up your individual chains and call it good? Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, very very quickly, word spreads. Um, network is like I think we we pick up at you know the rookery after you guys have done your various investigation, getting off phone calls and stuff like that. And network is over just, here. If I can just back that up a little bit, like mm-hmm. that word would go up with a reminder that we provide sanctuary. So, oh yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Sound good with you guys? Well, yeah, because I mean, mm-hmm. it's your cabal. But yeah, that's like mind, what I was doing with every, Onyx. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. You know, most most cabals have their territory. You know, mm-hmm. uh, some are literally this building is ours. You know, mm-hmm. and we have. You know, uh, others have are similar to you guys, where you, they've claimed a you know swath of land and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, network is you know as you guys are you know making your way into the cabal sanctum uh network is over here on his laptop typing away uh which i imagine actually now that i think about it, has got a lot of text to speech um and uh he, and it's just all sorts of different forum posts that he's like copying and pasting the same message uh, about hey lock your doors at night don't let anybody in you know keep track of you know uh you know who you are if you're capable of putting down wards do it if you need support you know post here and we'll organize something um and uh as as he uh as i don't probably songbird uh comes in he kind of looks over and says um so songbird um you remember those hunters that we really didn't like Mm -hmm. but are really into hunting vampires and protecting the normal folks Mm mm-hmm do we want to give him a call? Oh. No. Oh. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Also, because they're not going after the normal people, these hunters would kill us too. Like, yeah. Given the chance, they would destroy us also because we're abominations or some shit. Yeah, so, like sure no, we'll go and kill the vampires and then we'll come and kill you because you knew about them, so you must be twisted too. Potentially. Well, no, these were no. magic and magic and, is evil or something. And bear in mind, uh throwing us back, I don't know how many episodes, um, because there's that subset of the union, the guys who are kind of centered around that podcast, who are a bunch of douchebags. Then you had other folks who were uh, part of the union, like Elizabeth, who are like, listen, we're just here keeping our streets clean. And stuff like that. Uh, actually, there's a terrific one in um, in Vampire the Requiem, which talks about like, oh, yeah, you wake, you know, you as a vampire wake up in the middle of the night, you know, to start your thing. And she's up because she's part of the neighborhood watch and sits on the you know street uh, or on, on her porch watching stuff. And basically there's, there's this nod of like, I know what you are. And you keep the other scary things away. So I don't care about, you know, it's a terrific yeah. little bit in Vampire the Requiem that I was like, I will play that vampire. Uh, you know, so there are some hunters who acknowledge and go, you are fucked up, but you're <laughs> my fucked up little buddy. And, and I mean, it's a very Nitratus thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like, yes, I know you're a little monster, but you're behaved. So you're fine. As opposed to some of these other rampaging monsters. Who you're are, one of the good ones. Right. Uh, terrible as that Blah. is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I spit there, those words out of my mouth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are though, uh, you know, some you know hunters in the union who, because like uh, previously, they're very reactionary. So if stuff is happening, that's when they mobilize. So bring that all back. If you guys are like, now nah, we're good, then Mm-mm. Mm-mm. do not want. Cool. Um, and. Uh, 
Right. Oh, uh, so yeah, uh, network is working on that kind of spreading the word amongst, uh, some various hedge wizard, uh, witches and stuff like that. Pagan practitioners, um, who, you know, are a little bit in the know, various like mediums, uh, who talk to spirits or ghosts and things like that. Um, and he's like, yeah, uh, he's like there, there's about 30 right now on our, on, you know, the forums of, in all of New York, but at, you know, there's 30 of them. Uh, so I'm getting the word out and I think, you know, um, I apparently got this up and running, you know, sort of just in time, probably would have been cooler if I had more warning, but that's not how this stuff works. Um, so cool. Um, right. All right. So where are we at? And he kind of like sits back from his desk and, you know, turns and Titus, Titus has been like, Titus has literally hung garlic at the door. Um. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he's Precious like, cinnamon roll child. And he's like, listen, I know, but it works on some of them. <laughs> so. We I'm should just, uh, probably make a point. I of, mean, to be fair, you're safe. Oh. You have okay. been declared our ghoul. <laughs> I think it's weird because you're a boy, right? I mean, last I checked. But yes. You are. Weird it's a play cool. on words, weird. Yeah. <laughs> weird just wasn't happy with it. What were you saying, uh, Craig? Um, maybe we should uh, make sure we double up patrols for the next little while. Like one of us go with. I mean, they're. They've been declared. Sure, but under... if. What happens if Titus sees somebody getting eaten in the street? He minds his own business. Yeah, he watches. Kind of where we're at right now. The street, like they're not going to screw with him. But well, bear in mind, it's not the time for heroics. Weird. And 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 a, a note: they're not supposed to mess with him. They're not supposed to mess with you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, you know, and is the, the classic, yes, there's a new king. All right, we're going to test the boundaries of the new king and see, you know, how far we can push those rules. So bear that and in mind. My thinking is like we've, we've marked a safe route through our territory. We should make sure nobody's getting attacked there. True. So we should be prepared to defend it, is all I'm saying. Uh, which actually brings me to uh, a question. I, I think even Network will chime in and goes, so um, the vampires in our area are like, chill with us, right? Like, we're buddies, right? As much I as wouldn't one, call us Yeah, as much as one can buddies, be with a vampire. But we're, uh, we're cool. Okay, so... I mean, they still, like, feed on people, but they don't... Right, and, and like Network has has this look of he's had this talk with Atratus before about like so long as they're not <laughs> killing, they're good vampires. Uh, but they uh, take care of the herd, I think he called them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Basically they have people as livestock, which is distasteful, but they're not randomly murdering <laughs> people. And they don't want a lot of people showing up dead, because that's not a good look for them. Uh, and, and so, but network's comment is, should we like, like for patrols and stuff, do you think they would like help? They've been asked, well, this is actually like, I mean, it's the word of a vampire. So how much do you trust that? Generally, I trust him on this, uh, promise to tell us if anything is coming or if anything starts acting up. Here. So that's going to be limited to what they know of. Well, yeah, among the vampires. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, meta knowledge: some uh, Ordo Dracul have really, really good spatial awareness. <laughs> like they know when somebody feeds in their territory. Levels of spatial mm-hmm. awareness. Uh, but yeah, uh, you guys don't necessarily know that. But um, and so yeah, he uh, he says okay. Um, I, I, I guess that works. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we double up and, you know, for the next couple days and, uh, you know, and, and, and nighttime is going to be the scary time, 
right? And so we just, uh, and actually network, or uh, Titus, I think, actually says, um, and kind of looks at Starling Bird and says, I know how you feel about lies, but what about a very creative untruth that people should stay in doors at night and not go out and just general populace like, hey, you know, neighborhood watch says, you know, keep your doors at night. Beware of, you know, intruders kind of thing, at least for some of the, you know, local residences and stuff. Sure. Because, I mean, they're like sleepers and awaken it's all our territory right and right you know i know they're looking for mages and hedge witches but all it takes is you know some uh you know you know practicing you know anything not christianity and some douchebag vampire is going to be like oh that looks like magic right <laughs> sure um and so at least i mean they can go inside sure but they don't actually right. have to be invited in they can break down your door they right. don't no oh yeah but right, i mean but that, it's no harm in putting the word out that now might be a time to duck and cover to, yeah that's fair okay yeah uh so like he had never like put their heads together and start basically working out a bunch of internet rumors for mm-hmm. you know lower manhattan about like you know People have been, you know, convincing people to open doors. And and while, yes, they don't have to get permission to go in, kicking down a door versus just convincing somebody is two very different levels of disruption and noisy. Um, sure. So, uh, but yeah, basically they start to, you know, get a little, you know, what do you say, crime, crime watch kind of thing of like, hey, everybody just keep your head down and, you know, keep an eye on your neighbors and make sure everybody's safe kind of thing. Um, yeah, with the wrong flavor of Catholic or Pentecostal. Yes, that's very true. Uh, uh, but yeah, so uh, I think possibly um, a day or two pass um, and before anything else new happens. And you're going to give me about 30 seconds while you guys think about what may happen next because it is super hot in here. One sec. I'm imagining I'd be just sort of with the legacy and stuff. I've got a lot of awareness of what's going on with the cabal, so I just kind of be hanging around the shop a lot, sort of sure. in the, like a in the central control sort of way. I think I'm gonna try and get the uh, grimoire from the adamantine era for a bit. The fan was off and it was terrible. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, if, right. we can, if we can get those four together once things seem to have calmed down or don't get too excited, that would be cool. And that's definitely something you guys could do like the next day or anything like mm. that if you wanted. Yeah. I think, yeah, just like a, maybe like two or three days of like just focusing on our own stuff and you know, piddling around the shop and exper- plenty of experimental magic. Sure. Um, oh, you know what? Sombird does have something that he wants to do, and uh, I'm going to be making something in the shop. Cool. And I need Atratus's help. Okay. What are we making? Um, I'm making a forge, like a traditional, like out of clay, old school forge. Okay. Um, and I. Need you to perfect something after okay. I get it for you. You do need to do that. And, uh, well, I can do the basic level because I can do hone the perfected form, but to make it like permanent. Permanent, yeah. Um, you have to do it the hard way. Yeah. So uh, I'll like get some supplies and, and start building this thing. And um, as the clay is like, beginning to bake with a fire inside and out and everything like that. Um, I'm going to start casting on the perfected form and 
cut in my arm and get a relatively good amount of blood. Like a uh, an ink swell worth, I'd say. Sure. <laughs> Uh, you need perfected blood. Yes. Okay. Never mind. This isn't where I thought it was going. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm going to perfect my blood, and then use it to inscribe rotes onto my forge. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> I mean, I need a few days, but yeah. yeah but like. I like because I I don't know Drew can clarify this, but I figure like if it's perfected by a spell and the spell lasts long enough that it can go through the passes and stuff like that, then it would be permanent. Mm -hmm. You yeah yep. okay. I mean, does it need to be perfected by the spell first? Does it just moving it in and out thirty times will do um, it? Depending organic on organic material has to be perfected oh, okay. at the instant that it is removed from the body. Okay. Oh yes, that's correct. Yep. Otherwise, it starts to stop being blood and it starts to be goo and yeah. Sure. Um, so yeah, I think it's like a couple hours of like working and then like healing myself up and then getting some more blood and stuff like that. And then like, yeah, okay, here's, you know, something to save for later. And <laughs> Okay. Um, I, I was thinking about the uh, the legacy the attainment. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the nail. And it's like blood. Oh, oh. hang on. Do you want me to do that also? Because I can. I mean, yeah. They're both very small. I can do it at once. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. It's like, I'm just going to take these things. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you could be like, all right, everybody pile a bunch of stuff into my bag. As long as it's yeah. can, if it can fit in this tiny pile, I can mm -hmm. do them all at one go. Yep. Anyone else want anything? Uh, I think Network, network and uh, Titus both go, not yet, but I hadn't thought of it. Like they start, like <laughs> they start get, getting, getting. I, mm -hmm. hey, come on, we're, we're it's it's twenty twenty. Uh, no, sorry, it's twenty nineteen. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah, uh, you know, the Mysterium definitely has some some basic information on a VPN access, you know, website that they're like, hang on, what can we do with this shit? Uh, as they start to figure out stuff about perfected metals and do some research. Uh, cause yeah, uh, there's, I can't remember which metal it is, but there's a very good Mastigos metal. Um, uh, I think it's iron, but, um, uh, so it's, yeah, they, uh, they start to go <laughs> look into that. They're like, hmm, maybe there is something, but, uh, so yeah, that's super cool. Uh, so perfecting some metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a load of laundry. I'm going to do a load of perfecting. Anyone want in? Yes. <laughs> um, uh, what about weird? Um, oh, I also, oh, no, go ahead. I want to move my domain to the workshop. Sure, done. I feel safe enough with it here now that I'm cool doing this all yeah, here. Especially after the major Aegis. Yeah. Or whatever. What? No, it wasn't Aegis. It was um, whatever. Crucible. Uh, just super armoring up the building. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to make a roll. Just, yep. Yeah. Take some time. Just, I have done that now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Actually, do you guys put your um, soul stones together to create a larger domain that covers like know? the whole shop? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Cool. And so the main reason I'm asking is it basically is now one domain. Uh, mm -hmm. So if one of you is like, I need to take my soul stone out of here, uh, then it's gonna fall, and you'd have to re-put it back. Fine. Yeah, just yeah, get, just fine. making it. Clear. Cool. What were you yep. saying, Craig? Um, I wanted to. Um, he's already seen me, so uh, I wanted to have Raven go and visit Stephen. Um, and by have visit, you do what exactly do you mean? I wanted Raven to, uh, to uh, let Stephen see her just for a moment. Well, I mean, generally speaking. Uh, raven looks like a raven. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, raven looks like a smoke raven. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which kind I, goes trailing I, off of her and stuff, right? So, which I, I think and remind everybody at home and me, uh, she is a spirit of what? Uh, she's a spirit of curiosity. That's right. Okay, because uh, that came up actually recently in spoiler chat. And like, it's a raven spirit of a something or other, but it looks like a raven. I couldn't remember mm -hmm. what it was. Uh, but yes, uh, yeah, uh, I think. 
Um, you know, especially if you take a little ride along and share senses, mm -hmm. uh, Raven bebops out and just basically finds Steven, uh, you know, because that's a quick scry, uh, and just goes and perches on some some tree somewhere and then materializes. So it's this big, large raven, waits for Steven to see it, and then takes off into the air and all of a sudden smoke pouring off of it, you know, and stuff like that. Perfect. Yep. Uh, anything else you're going to be doing with Stephen, Christopher, the Watch of the Rowan or any of them? Um, that was it. I just want to like, keep an eye on the place in case uh, uh, Christopher Wallace ever ends up showing up there. Sure. Um, Does he not have to? He's got my coin. Is that what you're asking? No, I was saying, does he not have to roll breaking points for that? Hmm. Okay. No, because breaking points uh, are, f well, he may roll a breaking point. Does he point. have to do it for the flower that disappeared? Well, because I did because that right in front of him. Well, and that's awakened and magic. magic. Yeah. Okay, just seeing a spirit doesn't count. Okay. Right. Um, uh, potentially, maybe, because uh, integrity and breaking points is all about, like, personal experiences they that they've had and how like completely weirded out they are. So a, an example, the, the common one is dead bodies. For Joe Schmo, seeing a dead body is a breaking point. For an experienced beat cop, not a break point. Um, they're very, very uh, individualized as opposed to like acts of hubris, which is don't care how many times you've made a soul stone, it's an act of hubris every time, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, at this point his life is weird enough that this is tuesday sure right. uh and regardless he may make a breaking point i'll think about that uh but it will not be an act of hubris on uh craig's part because it's not him or weird's part mm -hmm. uh, because it's not him her casting a spell or something like that it's been yeah. a day yeah he's trying uh, to get him to awaken he was so close last time mm -hmm. that's <laughs> that's very close. oh yeah that's true i'd forgotten about that mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, cool. Um, right I think next, next beat was getting all four grimoires together. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, which, yeah, as stuff kind of, uh, whereas, and, and like I said, uh, over the next couple of days, it is definitely in the news. Uh, strange disappearances, um, odd occurrences. And this is to remind everybody. This is the world of darkness. So there is some level of that stuff every day, every night, but there's definitely more news on uh, covering it. There's more stuff on Twitter. Uh, you know, People are talking about it a little bit more. It's in the newspapers for those people who actually bothered to pick them up um, where it's like, yeah, stuff has been, you know, a little more weird. Um, and, uh, you know, there's definitely discussion about it, um, even amongst your different, you know, uh, individual circles, the Mysterium Cardians and stuff like that. It's like, it's like, yeah, things are, things are tumultuous. Uh, you guys being on the inside and being part of the concilium and having spread the word. It's like, yep, the empires are up to stuff. Um, there's definitely reports within, um, the concilium itself that, yeah, so and so, you know, the the new Talon over the Adamantine Arrow who was like, ah, nah, it's cool. I'm I I'm, I'm good. I have, you know, the powers of the universe at my beck and call. Yeah, we found him dead in a ditch, you know, because he went out by himself at night and because he wanted to go get a drink, some shit like that. Um, and you know, the Adamantine Arrow hold, you know, hold a funeral and they're like, sucks. However, not only was he dumb, he was not wise. Um, and, uh, it's, it's definitely one of those things, that, uh, but for the most part, at least with shreds, you say two shreds, <laughs> um, within the, uh, mysterious, uh, mysteri within the concilium itself, though, most things are, everybody's batting down the hatches. They're watching, they're keeping an eye out. Um, there's definitely some, uh, reports of attacks happening. Um, at least one like group, uh, we'll say probably shed her, uh, somebody you really don't want to attack them vampires uh you know <laughs> like you know she she reported back to the arrow because i'm sure uh songbird especially is getting some of these messages of like you know this yeah. stuff is happening in new york and got little mm -hmm. points on a, on the new york map right 
and Pepe they, Sylvia going on. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, basically the, uh, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, no, they attacked uh, my sanctum the other night. Uh, no, they're no, they're still here. Uh, they're dangling and I'm going to pull them apart and see what hap- uh, what comes out. <laughs> Shatter is like I'm. I have a new thing to experiment with. Uh, ghosts, yeah. To shreds, scream. you say. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and it's like I have a new thing to play with, and we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, so there's definitely a little bit of back and forth, uh, but it's definitely kind of Cold War level. But I don't like her very much. Nope. Uh, I, I, I was very bad about making. <laughs> And folks that you didn't like, and so hey, guess what? They're coming out. Uh, you won't um, see them. Yes. Oh, I forgot. Um, I have one of like over the two days of like doing more things in the apartment. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to add some dots to our sanctum. Oh, very well. Um, Not the apartment, so adding, the rookery. The actual, yeah, that's yeah. the only sanctum. Right. I was that just I double check. Have access to. Mm-hmm. Um, we have another like the apartment's still a safe place. Right. Um, so I'm going to add the environmentally aligned. Uh, which one is that? That is, uh, the sanctum may be used as an environmental yantra with a bonus equal to the total dots of the sanctum divided by two oh, yes. to anyone that's invested in it. Um, and I'm going to also add the, um, uh, Nimbus infusion. Which is where the, place has the nimbus, nimbus of the sanctum mixes in with our nimbus if we cast spells in there. Gotcha. So, like, we will have like a little bit of a rookery stamp on a lot of our spells, which is kind of cool and flavorful. Uh, which actually does remind me, um, Craig, you have you put a dot into that sanctum? I don't remember if I did or not. Okay. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to go over that later because okay. I, I feel like I remember. Uh, actually, you know we're going to say that you have regardless yeah. because of uh, the hallow. Right. Um, okay. So even though weird may not have spent XP on it, weird has nudged and caused an increase in the sanctum, and I'm going to call that good enough for investment. Cool. Um, um, so yeah, it's a it's a two dot safe place and a two dot environmental yantra at the moment. And then the hallow, which is not part of the sanctum. Uh, but is the, is located there is too. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, and then uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. Like I said, there's some back and forth. Um, there is. Oh yeah. Uh, talking about the news, there are definitely some higher end, uh, high society. Like oh my gosh, this man was found dead, and like you guys look at the picture, and it's like oh, it's that douchebag Rodney or R- Roger, <laughs> whatever his name was. Um, and yeah, he's laid out um, and it's like, yeah, can you believe wild animals killing somebody in a, you know, eighth, you know, eighth level, you know, high rise apartment? Man, what happened here? And it's like everybody in the world is going fucking vampires did, man. I'm telling <laughs> yep. you. Yep. Uh, um, and it's it, it's probably the most high profile, the big one that's, you know, the conspiracy theories are flying, um, which is terrific because. Like especially watching the news, you go, ah, that news network is owned by the uh, by the vampires because they're like, well, this is ridiculous. This is clearly Nonsense. you know some hoax. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, yeah, somewhere in there uh, over the next couple of days, you guys get together the grim uh, the various grimoires. Where your place? Our sanctum. Okay, our sanctum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring yeah. Uh, to our house. Um, is there anything that I have to do to borrow it mm. from the arrow, or no, they just like? Yeah, at this point, uh, because how much status do you have? Three. Yeah. Uh, you know, at that point, because just like, especially since it's a temporary borrow, um, yeah. you know, it's one of those like, I'm going to borrow this. I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, if I remember correctly, by itself as a grimoire, it's a four dot grimoire. Okay. Uh, so it's technically above, but you've got this kind of prior claim due to the obsession of the mm-hmm. fact that, by the way, I brought this back. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, so it's one of those and, things. And there's another one that Red Dread wants. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Probably wants to. So, yeah. Uh, so you it's really it's have more... this because I brought it to you. Right. So. Um, so it's definitely one of those things where you like cruise in, wave to Pip, and she just pulls up her little pad, just writes down that you've got it checked out, waves, and <laughs> bebop off with it under your arm. 
Um, actually, it's a little more secure than that, but uh, <laughs> there is a checkout process at this point. It's mm-hmm. now in with the, you know, like locked up, you the know, the restricted section. Right. Yeah. The, with the le- legitimately radioactive uranium bullets and that kind of shit. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, come on, man. You know, they've got some all sorts of wacky bullshit from like, hey, some... we need to cure, kill this very specific spirit. Cool. I got it. Um, there's some actually- of those like, Bullshit UV bullets from Underworld. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's actually uh, in Hunter, there is esoteric armory, I think is what it's called. And it's like for each dot, you have like very weird bullshit that could potentially mm-hmm. be something's pain. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you guys meet up uh, Judd, um, the um, Dazan's Codex. Aesop's fables and a jar of fucking lightning. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah! Yeah, uh, he's a definitely uh, he's I think is the one who uh, you know shows up with Judd. With um, Judd, yeah. Um, and then you. I know we haven't mentioned it, but again, to some of the like things happen off screen that aren't important, but definitely been keeping up with Judd. Yeah. Yes. We haven't like abandoned we, we this poor him. child yeah. for like yeah, two visit, weeks. Visit with him, hang out with him. You know, like you said, you know, took him out to the, you know, to the theater that one time to see Spider the mm-hmm. Eternal, which by the way, Judd was like, I love this. I have what no, the cultural references are flying over his head, yep. but that's true. Me too, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> um, be, but I mean, he's like, this is very, very odd, but I'm totally like, okay, sure. You know, within this logic, within this show, this makes sense. You're going to have to explain this whole space travel concept. Not really. Uh, everybody, we have wanted to go to space since we saw the stars, folks. Like, sci-fi is not new. Um, nope. So, uh, but yeah, you guys get together. Uh, all the grimoires. Um, he's a very quickly, like, they're all here. Cool. And throws some scrutiny at this stuff and goes, okay, I give up. There's clearly a fifth one. I have th- these guys are all nice and connected and they recognize each other and they're all connected up. And there's some odd connection to a dual set of creators, which is weird as hell. Uh, this is this is something that that is known uh, because you guys realize that there's like the signature of a mage on it, but there's also clearly some kind of supernal being that was also mm-hmm. involved in creating it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, he kind of like six sits a little dejectedly, like kind of poking at the jar of lightning and just you know, a lightning <laughs> to his finger. Uh, and he's like, so where's the map? And, you know, you've got that stored away somewhere, send it out and, Yep, 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 yep. And because Babylon, check. Uh, Yucatan, check. Peru, check. Cambodia, check. And so he's look, he's like, okay. So, um. Panopticon's got it. Hmm? Panopticon's got it. Oh. It's a theory, I think, that she is saying. No, well, I mean. Abaddon we have, knew they were hunting for the one in Cambodia. Yeah, we we have, knew that the one we killed was looking for, had this one. Sure. If they were hunting them and we've got four, it's... There's some logic. So so maybe they had two and you and we already took one. stole one. That, that tracks. Um, I mean, the, the, there's at least logic to that um and of all the people who, to figure out connections to things panopticon kind of has a an in on that um and then kind of lifts his head and looks over at uh, atratus and says um uh, it would be really cool if we could talk to like the ghost of a dead mage that got kind of obliterated burned in celestial fire that one yeah is that a I mean maybe did she leave a ghost I mean not exactly my wheelhouse (laughs) uh do you know what the range on someone ghost is probably need to go back to what would her anchor be 
Uh, thank you actually for reminding me that range kind of matters on that. Um, yeah. I think there is a reach for it, which is what was in my head. To try to get a far away ghost? Uh, or very specifically pull one out of the underworld, but I could be wrong. Um, ghosts on the Oh yeah, in the vicinity of an open iris to the underworld, can summon ghosts from the underworld uh, vicinity of that iris. Ooh, not super large. Um, what was the other one? Is it in science and sorcery? I remember there was something tricksy. Because I was like, oh yeah, this is totally something they could do. Mm-hmm. Now I can't remember what it was. Where? So Speak with the Dead shows anchors. Yeah. Yes. Um. So I'm gonna cast that because if she was anchored to this grimoire, that would be convenient. <laughs> that would be convenient. You'd see her hanging around though. Uh, I'd be aware aware of it because I can sense them without. Yep. Um. Give me one second. There's a specific spell. And I was like, aha. And now I'm like, hang on, what was Try and called? find it again. Yeah, I was like, hang on. Because uh, basically, um, it's basically um, a way to uh, chat with the ghosts of dead mages, uh, which was a, I remember because I was like, this is a very Atratus spell. Um, mm-hmm. uh, is it a mind spell that I'm thinking of? Is it the one that's in their soul stone? Yep. The way to keep vocation. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Um, yep. Oh, and you can substitute. That's right. Four dots death. Substitute death for casting a similar spell using death on a soul stone created by a now dead mage results in manifesting a ghost with the same properties rather than in Goetia. So, um, yeah. I would need a soul stone. You would need a soul stone. And then we find we don't have one of those anywhere, do we? You guys don't. Mashta was an arrow. Mashta was an arrow. Do the arrows have? Because we have soul stones in storage. We've discussed mm-hmm. we put silver ladders, silver ladder especially. Uh, yeah. And I will remind you, there was a lot of stuff left at Linwood Hall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Call up our the founding fathers. Yeah, yeah. Um, who do you call? Um, uh, Steampunk Grandpa. <laughs> just, just straight to the yeah. top. We're gonna call. Yeah, I was like gonna try to just go to the top. I was trying to, the one that we liked, John Jay. She mm-hmm. was cool. Yeah, she, she was cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hamilton was cool. Yeah. Uh, notably. Uh, uh, Those were the two that were like with us the whole time, like on our side. Uh, I'm trying to remember who was uh, Samuel Adams, who you talked to less, was also a Moros, just as a mm-hmm. reminder. But yeah, uh, so yeah, you call up John Jay. Actually, I think Weird has to call up John Jay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just random numbers here. Um, and yeah, Jay. Yeah, you hear Jay pick up the phone and go, and it's it's a very like New York accent. Like, who the fuck is this? You know, they're in a, like, <laughs> like, who has, nobody has this number. Hi. Hi. This, is, this is weird. You're, you're on speaker. Yes, phone. it is. <laughs> <laughs> you remember uh, uh, we uh, did some work not too long ago? And le- there, there, there's that definite shift. You heard it with Moonkeeper. You've seen it with Oceans as somebody shifts into I mean, their you, shadow name. You see it with Songbird probably daily. Oh, so. yes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like, it's not like, a weird sensation. Uh, right. But it's that notable, like, shifting into somebody's shadow name. And, mm-hmm. yeah, and Jay goes, wait, the Rookery? Um, uh, um, okay, sure. You got this number. I'm not going to ask. Uh, I'm going to count Right, yeah, I know. We're mages. This shit happens. Um, I apologize for them. <laughs> thank you, Songbird. Um, 
actually, had you had? Yeah, you had had the, the female songbird thing at that point. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was, wow, 75 episodes ago. Uh, <laughs> um uh, yeah and so jacob yeah, so um that. uh okay um um yeah you're calling but uh what's up um do you remember linwood hall it, it, it was a yes. couple of weeks ago <laughs> yes <laughs> we're still going through a treasure trove of bullshit what's up we uh f- oh the chalice did you guys want to come by and check out the chalice? I, I know you guys had it's we we arranged in a, a custody meeting or something or um, not, no, that's not it. Not particularly oh, okay. why we're calling today. We're wondering if uh, you guys had managed to recover a soul stone out of there. Uh, uh, three or four, actually. Nice. Um, can we? <laughs> can we? A, borrow them? Uh, borrow them, or B, uh, come and view them? Uh, but then, I mean, they're soul Tempor- stones. Just temporarily. There's a yeah. particular soul stone that we're looking for. We need some information from the mage we killed. Uh, <laughs> uh, to be blunt, uh, which mage you, uh, did you kill? <laughs> or which which of the two that which you killed? Which one? Yes. Uh, Mashta? That uh, just... Probably not. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, she she has two soul stones. So uh, yeah, I don't mind. Uh, we can um, and you know, kind of, kind of, you know, muffled the Alexander. Do you have a connection to the rookery still? Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm on the phone Alexander, with her. <laughs> right? Yeah. Alexander goes, just hand me the phone. Uh, so, and I'm like, hand me the. I can do it. Uh, and goes, uh, so hang on. What are, what are we moving? Where? What? Huh? And you hear back and forth between Alexander and Jay. Is they're like, oh, the uh, one of the soul stones. Um, they're gonna give it back, right? Yes. Okay. And there's a scramble and movement and a definite like Alexander is gone. Like stops talking. Jay goes. Okay, so Alexander's gonna go pick up the uh, the the soul stone and uh, is gonna be back in a second. Um, so, um, how are things? Um, little unsettled. And- you all have been in the news. What the fuck is going on in New York? Politics. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, and I'm sure you guys have this little just chat, you know, catching up and basically vampires. Am I right? Right. Yeah. Um, and like, oh, you're hunting down Sears. Clap, clap, clap. Uh, you've been working with Sears. Come on, guys. You know, uh, so, some of that. Uh, but it's about 15 minutes. Um, and Alexander is like, okay, I have it. Um, uh, well, let's just make this a really, really cool conference call, right? Um, am I going to be dealing with any wards? No, nope. yes. we're fine right now. I we have wards on the sanctum, right? Mm, did I? Yeah, I did actually. I seem to recall when, when all this was starting to. Is that space four or is that space three? Uh, I mean, space uh, wards is just space two. Yeah. Did you spend a willpower yeah, to. When like, all this was going to be coming up, I didn't make it permanent or anything. That's uh, the spell I've been maintaining. Oh, okay. If it's in your spell control, cool. Yeah. Um, so, which. Just step outside for a second. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or I can, uh, or I can bring him down momentarily. Uh, no, you cannot, uh, unless you just want to recast it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, regardless, just be, make it easy. You just kind of step outside uh, with <laughs> sure. your phone, uh, and all of a sudden, whomp, and Alexander just suddenly is there. Well, actually, especially if you have mage uh, space sight on, like, oh, hey, look, and you're standing in there, uh, what looks like a like, uh, like an apartment. Um, and Alexander is there. You can see Jay, who cannot see you, and is just talking into the phone. Uh, Alexander looks up at you, waves, and puts his Straight hand back. out, Shake holding it. Ho- holding out. No, no, holding okay. a uh, the soul stone. Right. Uh, and so you just grab <laughs> and yep. like Titus, Titus, who's like come out to like you know watch, and is like mm-hmm. leaning at the door. Basically, just watches you reach out with your hand, grab. And, soul st- <laughs> and just all right thanks and like the fuck <laughs> space this is space bullshit magic am i right yep 
Uh, yeah, and actually, I think specifically Titus was out there keeping an eye out for sleepers. Uh, but yes, uh, so yeah, you reach out. The Soul Stone uh, is in the uh, shape of what looks like um, a. Um, uh, uh, brass? Yeah, a brass. No, copper. Uh, statue. Bronze. That's the word. Uh, <laughs> A, a bronze statue of what looks like um, basically like um, Atlas just holding this huge globe. Um, but the globe is like done up in like very regimented, um, like clean, neat little like sectors. Um, and so it's instead of this being, you know, the uh, normal globe, it's like a crazy multi-sided dice uh, way, you know, and looks like there's different like, oh, yeah, here's Hawaii and here's, you know, the West Coast of the U.S. And here's the Northeast of the U.S. And it's just, you know, everything, the whole world is divided up and being held up by this, you know, bronze figure. Um, it's your territories. Or kind of representative of, you know, dividing the world up amongst people. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, you pick that up and it's a fairly large statue. Uh, it is not something that you're just going to stash in your pocket. Uh, size two or less mm -hmm. well yeah i think be like this big mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh it's an anime figure <laughs> yeah uh and you know titus and weird you know make their way back inside and jay's like okay well you know sometimes being a mage is kind of cool uh so are you all set um the, i mean the chalice is here uh we've had a look at it it's as gross as it is we thought it was uh, We've seen something similar. It was bizarre. Horrifying. Yeah. S I mean, you don't have it. Like, because, I mean, I'm a no. for a trip. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. It was the asshole we went to Cambodia with. Oh, right. Gave right. Us the other grimoire. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, hey, if you ever get hold of it, you know, and you like this one better than that one, you know, we can do an exchange or something. I'm just saying, uh, because this one is super gross and we, you know, we'd like to trade up, but might come visit in a couple of weeks or something like that though. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to have you and maybe you can actually like hang out in Philly for a little bit and not just Ooh. show up and kill a bunch of Sears and then leave. I mean, you're welcome to do that anytime too, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but all right. Well, uh, Alexander is giving me the wrap it up, uh, face so um do y'all live together yeah that's cute <laughs> thanks i guess uh <laughs> yes uh we live together this went th this went a weird direction <laughs> <laughs> um so um yeah I, thanks all right um bye <laughs> <laughs> It's like, hey, let's talk about doing this. Do you live together? Uh, personal information. Hang on. <laughs> um, and so, yes, you guys have this little statue thump down on the table. Yeah. So, yeah. What is that spell? You need me to cast and where do I find it? Because oh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Signs of Sorcery, page 90. Um, and uh, yeah. It basically, uh, what it does is uh, Soul Stone doesn't uh, contain any particular piece of a person's psyche. A mind adept can extract the, uh, the bit of soul stuff inside and convert it into a goetia that manifests in Twilight. In your case, you'll be summoning a ghost. Mm -hmm. uh, it has rank equal to half the gnosis of the Soul Stone's creator, which does mean you can get It'll some be like very, rank three. Uh, I mean, depends on how much gnosis. Uh, it could be higher. Uh, that said, no, you guys know Mashta was not super powerful. Uh, but then it's uh, Numina influences and manifestation should reflect the path, legacy, and shadow name of the creator. It's a flat echo embodying the platonic ideal of the most recognizable aspects rather than true personality and only has a few of his memories. Uh, which memories they are depends on the form of the soul stone, the circumstances of its creation, and its importance as an object. Um, they just use the spell to speak with long dead masters, trying to glean nuggets of their vanished wisdom and secrets lost to time. If this uh, mage studies the soul stone to learn a legacy um, with the Goetia's aid, may uh, learn it as if they had a tutor. 
Um, there's also a cool thing that lets you extract the Goetia directly into your own Neros, benefiting from their memories and legacy tutoring without interacting with it, which is kind of what happened with Atratus and the Ebon Phoenix. Just sort of absorbed her. Mm-hmm. Uh, which actually does mention, um, if the spell endures for longer than a week, the Goetia integrates itself with the caster's psyche and becomes a true part of him for the duration of uh, the spell, influencing its uh, his attitudes, behaviors, and even mannerisms. This is dangerous if the Soulstone's creator was at a falling wisdom tier, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and it's hard to get mm-hmm. it out once it's settled in. Uh, but yes, mm-hmm. in your particular case, you're going to create a ghost of it. All right, so that's... I'm doing it in our domain. I don't... So you don't care about reach? Yeah, okay. Uh, the biggest thing is going to be what the withstand is going to be. Uh, like I said, can, hmm? if you don't care about the reach, you can switch the primary factor. To duration? Because you only probably need a scene. So you oh. can go advanced duration for a scene and then get free four free potency. Very true. And then just a couple extra dice to bump it up. Uh, give me one second here. One of those handy dandy, super useful programs that decides to launch itself automatically. Mm-hmm. Oh, All right. Great. Okay. Let's see. Reach and leave blank. Uh, this is four. That's four. As to increase potency, increase it by two. Uh, which would give you six. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Which, if it has a, if, it's a, if it pops out that strong, we're gonna have some problems. <laughs> it's gonna be in twilight, so it's not popping out anywhere. It's, right, that's very true. Um, should probably go ahead and cast speak with the dead on us then. Hmm. Um. Yeah. I'll write that one up first. That one you can literally do um, doses plus death plus five. Yeah. Because scale and all that. Who cares? So 13. Actually, I actually think both of them are just going to be 13. Only two successes. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other one's got to have some extra points here. Right? Yeah. The other one's going to be or, minus four. I guess you'd offset it with uh, more yantras, So. So. Uh, well, yeah, but we do need to. Oh, yeah, because it's just you're bumping potency up by four so, so minus four. right so, so minus four minus um, four yeah so we do need to figure out what yantras you're using to see what you actually get um because shadow name definitely mm-hmm. ghost whisperer atratus definitely yeah. applies to somebody shadow because, name. um the environment of the domain is two four for shadow name is it four because cabal theme how much uh, how many merit dots i don't do think her shadow names Maxed out. So oh, you only have two total. Only have two dots in it. Yeah. Oh, okay, three total, sir. So that's one yantra. Mm-hmm. Um, plus two for the room, right? For the domain. Mm-hmm. Um, the sanctum is right, the also sanctum. Yeah. viable. Oh, actually, yeah, the domain gives you a plus two. Mm-hmm. No. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. Domain. Uh, so as a domain is plus two, and then uh, how much is the the room? The sanctum. The room is two. Cool. So it's seven. I still have one mm-hmm. more I can use. Um, no, that's three. Hmm? Domain as a yantra, the sanctum as a yantra. Don't get a fourth yantra okay. until the room right. is until five. Right. Yep. Greedy mages. No, I keep thinking uh, the number of yantras is equal to uh, doses. Doses. You want to make some really op- uh, overpowered characters, Chris, in, uh, in Richmond? I think we're doing that just fine already. Cool. So, 8 and 7 is 15, minus 4 is 11. 9 successes. <laughs> so, about that Dang. withstand. <laughs> No, uh, w- uh, what do you want uh, with the exceptional success? Um, I'll take the condition, because I think six potency will beat its withstand. Yes, it uh, definitely will. Um, I think uh, condition, we'll put this in, uh, I'll, I'll let you decide, um, depending on how you want to imagine this spell as either a bonus to persuasion or uh, intimidation. I was going to say persuasion. Okay. Uh, so, yes, you watch 
Um, and especially because you did um, speak with uh, a dead, everybody can see. Um, actually, if you want to want to have some fun here in the last couple of minutes, what does it look like as Atreides is creating this ghost? Um, basically, the sort of pulling it out of the thing. Just like, and just like literally like, you know, pensive yeah. almost. Yeah. yeah. Just like grab it and just <laughs> pull it out and fling it over. Yeah. Fucking nerds. It's like, ew, ghost booker. Flip. Uh, <laughs> that's me, not her. <laughs> um, but yeah, and yeah, you watch as Mashta, who you had seen that tight bun and you know, all that. But um, where previously she had been kind of like almost librarian kind of, you know, business casual kind of clothes. Um, she is in like a well fit, like ornate robe, um, like standing upright, and she has like this like staff, like rod, you know, kind of thing, and she is in full, you know, Sears rule the world, uh, kind of uh look, and kind of looks uh, at all of you, and kind of like there's a glare. As she kind of looks around and realizes that she's in Twilight, that she's a ghost, um, and just, you know, like this, you know, because she is a ghost, so you get that whole creepy vibe and your reverberating voice and stuff like that. Who dares? And that, that of course, is where we're going to end the episode. <laughs> um, she's a necromancer. <laughs> Hi, I'm a necromancer. You're my bitch. Um, it's like you're dead. Uh, we killed you once. We can literally just... Oh, I hadn't even thought about it. Like, hi, I'm in control of this spell that is literally animating you. I can literally turn it off. I hadn't even thought about that. Wow, she's got a lot of bargaining power. Okay. Uh, so um, when we pick up next time, we'll find out how uh, the necromancer beats the shit out of a ghost. Uh, probably talks it down first, but we'll see. Uh, I'm trying so, to get information uh, from it. So That's true. Um, so uh, as always, folks, uh, come by Discord, eat into dot space to check out um, uh, all of the stuff that we've got. We've got chats about birds we got chats about music we've got chats about food then of course you can talk about like occultist anonymous in the show and what games Mage you're playing but come on, everybody just wants to come and talk about the birds. bird chat <laughs> bird <laughs> chat is top quality um and then uh, you can also if you would like uh support wait that's yeet into dot space i can't remember if i said that but i'm mm -hmm. gonna say it again um uh, you can support us monetarily uh on patreon patreon.com slash occultist anonymous or stay lucky dot club um and um uh what's the other thing uh yes look forward to in the next couple weeks probably two weeks uh we will be switching over to a not one shot an extended short campaign set in richmond virginia run by songbird uh chris is gonna dm for us and so that'll be a little bit different um so it's also a good time if you have anybody that you're friends with and you like and might like mage it's a good time to be like hey check this out you don't have to have watched anything before we're just going to jump into it and it's possibly a more in gauging way to start watching mage instead of watching our first episodes where we're bumbling around and taking 15 minutes to cast one spell um literally i try to just cast two spells in like a minute yeah, we're much uh, better now we're fast <laughs> now um oh which actually does remind me for those of you on twitch especially and i'll mention this again in a couple minutes so you're gonna hear it twice uh virtual horror con is this weekend starting tomorrow all sorts of different uh um, games are going to be streamed a bunch of different panels i'm on two of them i'm running one game uh tomorrow night at five eastern so 23 hours after this thing started but 5 p.m eastern um and uh so come watch a funky little one shot with a couple folks from occultus anonymous uh the discord group mm -hmm. um who will be uh, will be joining us, which is super cool. Um, and then one brand new newbie, <laughs> um, who, by the way, is subscribed. So hi, Niani, if you finally made it <laughs> through 90 some episodes, hi. <laughs> uh, um, I don't think you've made it this far that fast, but 
Um, and there's a ton of stuff besides mage, obviously. Um, cults and vampire and two things of Call of Cthulhu. And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of panels. Very cool. Uh, raffles and all that. All of which is going to support uh, the UN Foundation charity and support for COVID-19. Uh, they actually recently made a comment about or a tweet about that they were officially like setting stuff up with the WHO and stuff like that. So very, very nice. cool stuff. Um, that's all the things off the top of my head. Twitch folks, we'll see you in a couple of minutes. YouTube guys, we will catch you on Friday. Be right back. Stay lucky.